Okay, um, good evening everyone. Um, good evening everyone. Now, I would um, like everybody to pay attention because somewhere, some of some people were actually um, asking me to give a note of what I did during my time or what I read that um, gave me my score or my grade. Now this is what I will do just to help everybody and it's going to just be in a video. Please and please just pay attention. Try as much as possible to work to the end. It's not for my own good now, it's to help you people. Okay, now um basically on measurements, this is just what you just I'll just make okay. I think I talked about I highlighted some things before. You need to note uh metrics metric prefixes metric prefixes prefixes in such a way uh, i said prefixes such as uh, uh ato pico the values of all this pico you need to note them um pico what does a femto femto milli micro mega So all these uh, prefixes are what you should first of all know. Then, then. We can now go into measurement as the process of detecting unknown physical quantity by using a standard quantity known as a measure. Standard quantity means that something that has been known, you use it in getting what is unknown. Now that's what you should understand as measurement. And the measurement basically you should uh, know those things we use in measurement. We have meter rule, um, and in meter rule, the possible error that can occur in meter rule is zero error. Please take note, it's zero error. Yes, now meaning that you there are some instruments that are rec that are reading from zero to whatsoever. Can you get now some instrument like? Uh, like meter rule, uh, your ruler you start from zero, then one, then two, then and those are uh, errors that could happen in a meter rule. It is basically in centimeter or as well in millimeter. Take note, some are in centimeter and can also be in millimeter. Apart from this zero error, now you can also have error due to parallax, you can have error due to parallax. This is when you are viewing the position of the marker in a wrong way. Like this is, let's say for example now, please just pay attention. Let's say this is the ruler and you are supposed to look like this. The eye of the person is supposed to be like this. You are now looking this way. You are now viewing from this way. So this one is wrong, but this is the accepted one. If you are doing this way, then this is error due to parallax so you understand now meaning that your eye must be horizontal to what you are looking at that's possible errors that could happen in meter room. then this one you should maybe probably not give yourself so much issue on because you may not be having um, diagrams in your works that's just it you may not be having diagrams so there's no need of killing yourself so much on it which is venia caliper you may not be having diagrams in it. Now, vena caliper is basically used to measure the internal or external diameter of any object. You could basically say it is used to measure the diameter of an object. And you can say it is used to measure internal and external diameter of an object. Now, let's go further. How do you read or how do you take the reading of a vena caliper? Now, a vena caliper consists of two scales which you must possibly you must know the main scale and the vena scale. Now, I'm making use of this my jottings that I've done before because it's the notes I used to read during my time. So, I'm just making it so that you could understand very well. Now, the vena caliper consists of two scales this is the main scale. Why this is the vernier scale? I get it now. So the 
Okay, now um, let me just continue. Now, between the main skill and the venial skill is what we call the least count. Now, all these are called the least count of this venial skill. Now, it's on it that will depend. Now, it is in the least count is 0 0.1 millimeter. It's in 0 0.1 millimeter. Meaning that when you are going for 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So the least count you can ever have is what 0 0.1. That is the interval millimeter. So please just take note. Now, whenever you have now a question, if you look at, let me just use this question, this example now to explain how you read a venial caliper, how you take a venial caliper reading. Now, from this main scale, now if you look at it. If you look at it from this main scale, you see that when it goes to when it's in one zero one, so this venial scale started reading, and then in this venial scale, we have a, we have one, two, three, four, five, like from one to two, we have ten intervals in between. Now it got to two. When it got to 1.1, 1.2, this venial scale started. Now, how do you pick your main scale? That's what I'm trying to explain now. You pick your main scale from the point whereby this main venial scale started. Now, 1.1 is already there. 1.1 is where uh, 1 is there. 1.1 is there. Then 1.2 is where this one started. So your main scale is started from 1.2. So you pick 1.2. So you pick 1.2 then how do you pick reading from your venial scale you pick reading from your venial scale to be where this venial scale intersects with the main scale when they now form a single point like a single line like this that's where they intersect now if you look at this diagram very well if you look at the diagram very well you will see that at a point the main scale and the venial scale intersect and the interval here we have in 0 0.1 0 0.1 now at 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 here the main scale intersects where it intersects now with this main scale where this venial scale intercept with this main scale here is now what we know as we pick to be our venial scale our main scale is 1.2 then our venial scale is 0 0.05 in centimeter or we say 0 0.5 in millimeter don't forget the least count is in what 0 0.1 millimeter now because this main scale is in centimeter we need to convert this 0 0.5 millimeter to centimeter so we just multiply it by or we divide by by 10 so you have 0 0.05 in centimeter 1.2 in centimeter then you just had it together when you had both together you have 1.25 centimeter but if it has to be in millimeter let's say the question was in millimeter then this scale was in millimeter meaning that we have 1.2 millimeter plus 0.5 millimeter that's 1.7 millimeter do you get that this is in millimeter and this is in centimeter now let's quickly take a look at this question now now this meter rule was broken it has been chopped off i get it now then meaning that before two you're having one abby and before two you're having 1.9 you're having 1.8 you're having 1.7 so before this scale it was at what 1.8 meaning that your main scale is 1.8 what did they use here millimeter okay let's use millimeter 
1.8 millimeter so the next thing now you know this is the main scale and this is our vernier scale so now how do we pick reading from our vernier scale now if you look at this vernier scale now we count 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 at 0 0.5 this thing intercepts with what with main scale so we pick out our 0.5 mm so what we just need to do is to total it together to get our vernier scale so add this together you have three point you have 13 so you have 2.3 mm so if you convert 2.3 mm to to a centimeter does don't even need to convert because this is your answer because everything was in mm mm so your answer has to be in mm so the answer to that question is so now the answer to this question is 2.3 mm so do you get it now it's just as simple as this so now let's move to micrometer screw gauge now for micrometer screw gauge it is basically used to measure the external diameter take note external diameter uh, vernier caliper is used to measure internal diameter and external diameter but micrometer screw gauge is used to measure only external diameter of a very thin piece of objects like paper nylon you use it to measure it so now for this one now please i will just explain just this example and it's very simple you just catch it up like that very simple so now for this aspect now look at uh, a diagram i just put down here now all you just need to understand that this also has main scale and and the uh, 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 the meter or the vernier scale or micrometer scale or we say micro meter scale or we say uh, the screw gauge scale so you understand now so but let's just make it as the vernier scale as well so um the main scale now how do you take reading for your main scale if you look at this now let's say this is one this is okay this is one so picking your scale from the main scale of micrometer scale you just need to use one this is two this is three this is four then if you look at it it gets to 4.5 this is 4. Point, you can if you look at it they are 0 0.5 interval 0 0.5 so when it gets to 0 0.5 4.5 i mean this 4.5 it's now so you record that 4.5 uh, as your main scale where it got to now how do you pick up for your main scale now your main scale is just in five five depending on what how the uh, screw is five ten now how do you pick your main scale that it, where this means vernier scale intercepts with the main scale can you see now at ten it intercepts so we now pick our vernier uh, vernier scale of micrometer screw gauge to be 10 millimeter while this one is 4.5 millimeter add it together but now what you need to take note now is that in micrometer screw gauge you multiply by 0 0.01 please take note you take note you multiply by 0 0.01 because basically this one is in uh how would i put it you multiply your answer let me just put it like that you multiply your answer by 0 0.01 are you getting me now mm -hmm. you multiply by 0 0.01 basically this is in centimeter so you convert it to meter by multiply by 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 uh, times 10 so you have 0 0.10 so when you have 0 0.10 then you add it to 4.5 for example, so we have 4.6. So this is the answer. It's just as simple as this. This one is very very simple. Get your reading here. Check the centimeter of it here. Check its centimeter. Then add it together. That's all. Now, finally, I just need you to 
to go through this i just need you people to go through this as you are looking at this just go through it measurement of mass what do you use you use beam balance you can use liver balance you can have top arm balance majorly everybody use this one beam balance is also majorly used for chemicals top pan is that one that we used to use for um, all these fish people that to sell fish stock fish they used to sell nails all those things that's it then liver balance is that that is this way you have it this way uh, as this one is going up this one is coming down this one is going up there. so it's more or less like something in this form so you get as this one is heavy this one comes down so that's just for mass of liver balance uh, so that so we also have measurement of time the, me the one we first of all do was measurement of length measurement of so the ones i've been talking about was a measurement of a length so now it should uh, i've talked about measurement of mass uh, and then this one can be in gram or kilogram do you get that now so um that's on now uh, in that aspect the measurement of time, we have stopwatch, hour, pendulum, tick tape, timer, just like that. Measurement of volume, we have regular solid and we have liquid. Now, how do you measure irregular solid? We use it using irreca cam. Please don't forget this. Don't forget this aspect. And liquid, we use our normal, we know now liquid in the in the lab, we use measuring cylinder, measuring flux, volumetric flux, blah 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 blah, and that like that. Then, how uh, uh, sources, for example, of erratic error, you know what we call erratic error? Erratic error, um, you can see uh, basically, you can call or say they are um, faulty observations, or how do those errors, errors that you do that. You really don't plan but it just occur like mechanical error uh, uh, sudden change in some external conditions or let's say uh, or let's say uh, some rapid uh, movement or detection so that's just some sources of uh, erratic errors Okay, get 40 observations, observations that you didn't take time to look where well, to cause an erratic error. So, please, with this now, eh, if there's any other question pertaining to this, please just uh, make, uh, how will I put it, uh, just make a click on the link on the, uh, the description button. In the, uh, below the description button, there's a link, they just put it there and post to your question. So it will actually be sorted out and then uh, or maybe in the comment box you surely have it solved and then uh, and dropped don't forget to like share and then uh, subscribe to this channel very very important so that you know which and which aspect we are working or talking more about so that's for measurement and metrics metrics prefaces femto auto pico uh, nano mega milli like that, like that, like that, like that. So thank you. Make sure you subscribe and like and associate. This is the first aspect of its measurement. Thank you.